Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a fantastic featured seller, and I have not decided if I'm going to break this into um, two separate videos or not because he has a lot. So I'm just going to kind of see how it goes here. Um, I want to start by, um, I, I want to introduce his YouTube channel. It's still kind of like a baby channel. He more like, um, We'll do little blurps or short videos to share on his Facebook group. And I'm going to share his Facebook group also. Um, great stuff. He has fantastic bolos. He really, really has a great eye. So we're going to get started. I figured out if you watched some of my, my other videos, it was backwards, my sign. Well, I just had to click flip the camera. Doo -doo. Anyhow, so it looks fantastic now. It's facing the right way. And I'm not really sitting... Maybe I can scoot this way. There we go. So anyway, a member of my Facebook group made this sign for me. And down in the description of my video, if you're interested in, interested in having a sign made, he can make those for you. The price is reasonable and he does great work. He also came up with my logo and brand. And, well, not my, not my Bolo Buddies, but I kind of told him what I wanted and he came up with that. So I'm super excited. I wanted something simple. I wanted the high five. So, um... We're going to get started with some bolos. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't, and then check out Eddie's um, YouTube channel. I'm going to show you here what it is. It is Hodge Podge. Um, so check that out. I'm also going to link it down in the description of the video, but he just has like little helpful tips and stuff, packing fragile items, how to deal with Vero on eBay, um, what materials should I sell, have to sell on eBay. Uh, USPS, what can't I ship? So great information, really helpful. And he does a great job of explaining everything. Now here is his um, Facebook group. It's research, resellers, research group, flippers, sellers, thrifters, buyers, and more. So definitely check that out as well. And it will be down in the description. And we are going to get started with our first bolo. All right, let me figure out where to put this. Okay, so this first item is a Tiffany frame and he consigned it for a friend and his friend got this at the Goodwill for $3, guys, $3. And he took a best offer of $390. How fantastic is that? Okay, so it's a Tiffany and Company frame, which, you know, I mean, anything Tiffany and Company is usually gonna go for big money. I don't know if there's a, like a marking on it or how exactly he knew. Oh, there you go, right there. So pretty cool, right? $390, wow. It makes you wanna look at the frames. Like I don't look at frames, maybe I need to. The next item is this Lotus Flower brand. It's a, I think it's pronounced Abacus. I could be saying it wrong, but they're wood beads and I think it's like a counting thing. But here's what you're looking for. This right here, this brand, Lotus Flower brand. So he picked this up at the Salvation Army for $1.99 and it sold for $400. The day he got this, he sent me a message and said, look what I got. And I'm like, great, that's cool. And I knew if he was sending me a message that it was a bolo. So um, Eddie and I have, we met through my Facebook group and we've become friends. So like when we're out at garage sales, like he's one of my go-tos. I'm like, should I buy this? And he'll either be like, no, or yeah, pick it up, you know? So he's, he knows more than me and I'm still learning. So I pass things by him and he helps me out. So it's pretty cool. The next item is, oh, which reminds me, his wife sent me a message on some Pyrex. I think it was at $8,000 the last time I looked. So I need to post that in my Bolo Buddies group. So, um, yeah, she shared that with me earlier and I'm kind of excited to show you guys because it's one of those um, rare py Pyrex that goes for crazy money. So it'll be fun to watch, but I need to get that up after this video. So um, I think it ends in one day. Okay, Wild Turkey American Honey Chilled Liquor Dispenser for Bottles. He picked this up. Uh, he paid $25 for it at a thrift store and he sold it for $125. So again, you know, these are sometimes things that you're like, I'll never find that. But he found this at a thrift store. The next item are these wigwam socks. Yes, I said wigwam socks. Looks like one pair. 
Um, he got these for a dollar and he sold them for 27 and they came from the Goodwill and he did offer free shipping, but you know, stuff like this takes like less than $3 to ship. All right. This amazing painting. Um, Eddie always finds like these fantastic paintings at like the Salvation Army. It's crazy. He got this one at a thrift store for $10. He says he has two, one on his wall, may list later. Um, and this one sold for $399.99, $399.99. And he bought it for 10 at a thrift store. I mean, seriously, like when I pick up paintings, they're never real. They're like prints and wah wah. I get home and I'm like, I ask my husband, I'm like, is this real? And he's like, I don't think so. And then I ask around, they're like, nope, it's a print. I'm like, wah, wah, wah. But anyway, I always make money still, but it's, I want the real deal. Okay. So he took a best offer of $275 on this. Um, the person picked it up locally. He said he had about $38 invested in it. And he said he sold two different lots and the same girl has driven three hours, three times for candlesticks. Um, and I guess she buys, she's like a wedding planner, he thinks. And she buys them like off him for around five. And then she flips them for around 10 approximately. You know, those aren't exact numbers, but basically he's making money and then she's making money. So pretty cool. But the coolest part is, is he found out about the brass candlesticks from my either Bolo Buddies channel or my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So that's pretty cool. I love it when people tell me that. And he's actually doing really good with these. So he just picks them up when he sees them and then he puts them in lots like this. So it's pretty cool that he has a good connection because he's made, you know, it sounds like he has a buyer for these whenever he lists them. The next item is this face jug. He bought this off eBay for $75 a few months ago, and it sold on eBay for $250. So Eddie is good at finding things on eBay to sell on eBay. Um, Tom Petty. Uh, this is a book, and he got this at the Goodwill. He paid $2 for it, and it sold for $135. Another thing I kind of skip over is books. And when I see things like this, it's like, should I be taking the time to look at books? The next item is this vintage U.S. Army hand grenade wooden case crate ammo box. And he got this at a yard sale for $5 and he sold it for $125. So another very cool find from a yard sale. This is a basket, a Charleston sweet grass basket bowl. It's handmade. I don't know how he knew what it was called or that it's handmade, but um, yeah, he got this at an estate sale. He paid $5 for it and it sold for 65. This Bible, it's a uh, Masonic Bible and let's see. He paid $10 at the Salvation Army for this and it sold for $125. So vintage Bibles and antique Bibles, the real big, pretty fancy ones, those are also a bolo. So definitely be on the lookout for those. The next item we have here is a microphone and this is an old microphone and it says that he picked up three of these and paid $25 for all three and sold them all for 50 plus each. So this one sold for 61.05. And I really, uh, it says CB Mike used D-104 five pin. I don't know if that information's like written on it or I'm guessing it probably is. Maybe down here. There it is. May, or no, that's a serial number. I don't know. Trying to zoom in. So that's probably what I would have wrote in the title just because I don't know where he got this D104. Probably researched it. The next item is this Buffett Crampon Clarinet. And he picked this up at 
a thrift store for $25 and it had 21 bids and sold for $301. The next item is this The Doors poster and paid $5 at the Goodwill and he took a best offer of 100. So pretty cool. If you see posters, definitely look them up. I'm trying to see if I can get you the frame shop. So that's for the frame. So very cool. I love this next one. This is a rare antique banana split scoop. How cool is this? And he picked this up at a thrift store for 50 and it he took a best offer of $225 for that. Pointer brand coveralls. These are vintage denim overalls made in the USA. He got these at a thrift store for eight bucks and he took a best offer of 95. I've sold some vintage bibs and they did well, but not, not, I have not sold any coveralls. This sculpture of a flower, he paid $4 for, and it sold for $45. So I'm just going to zoom in here for you. Look at the base. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm not sure. There we go. So this costume, this holiday bear costume, I think he tried to sell this on Marketplace and nobody bought it. So he decided to put it on eBay and he got this for 10 bucks and he said he underpriced it because it sold for 215 super quick. He said he underpriced it by about a hundred dollars. So he's thinking he probably could have got 300 for it and it's the full body costume. I think that makes it worth more than just having the head. The next item is this bath and shower faucet. He got this at the Salvation Army for $8 and it sold for $105. So even if things are new in the box and they don't appear to be vintage, they can still sell for good money. The next item is this Cameo. Um, it's a brooch. It's very, very cool. And it's marked. Let's see. I'm going to show you the marking. That's what it says. Corrine Simpson. Never heard of that. Uh, he paid $3 at a yard sale and it sold for $105 with three bids. I know that some of the cameo pins, um, I've never seen one like this, but some of the cameo pins can be a major bolo. So definitely be on the lookout for those and check solds if you see them. Donne, it's a tennis bag and he got this at the Goodwill for $3 and he took a best offer of $50. The next item is this for real cat and I have a monkey that I need to get listed, but he picked this up for a dollar at the Goodwill and it sold for $55. The next item is more brass candlesticks. He invested 40 in this lot and the same buyer bought these also. And Sold for $243 and there's some little bit fancier one there in the back. So yeah, very cool. The next item is this rechargeable otoscope. Otoscope, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's Welch Allen and my paper is very small. So I'm trying to find my place here. He got this at the Goodwill for $11 and it sold for $102 with 17 bids. The next item is this solitaire game. You can see the marbles are still in the case. It's really, really nice. It's very cool. Uh, he got this for five bucks at a thrift store and he took a best offer of $85. This mug, it's Emma Bridgewater and it there. I believe that they all have birds on them, but
but he paid 50 cents for this mug and he took a best offer of $45. This Pet Foods Parlor Clock, he got, he paid 50 for this and he took a best offer of 185 and it doesn't say where he got it. So I apologize. I did not catch that and I did not ask him. All right, this JVC uh, car stereo cassette player, he picked up for 10 bucks at the Goodwill and it sold for $90 with 15 bids. I will say that when he does auctions, he typically does very well. I feel like when I do auctions, like maybe it's because I price my items at what I wanna get out of them and just hope for a bidding war. ALF, he got ALF for five bucks at a yard sale and ALF sold for $85. Now this is the talking ALF. So I think that probably increased the value of it. I have an ALF. I don't know if mine's a talking ALF or not. I haven't even really looked at him. He's just sitting in a bag waiting to be listed. All right, this rotating curling iron, T3 micro, micro twirl. This is what you're looking for. And he got this at the Goodwill for $8 and it sold for $85. So this is some sort of fancy curling iron that I've never heard of. This 70s California David Langman Disco Psychedelic shirt. Um, I'm guessing it's just because it's a very cool looking shirt. I don't know. It's vintage. It's not a brand I've ever heard of. But you can see right here, here's the tag. It is a super cool shirt. Um, I'm actually surprised it did not go for more. He got this at the Salvation Army for $4 and it sold for $42. The next item is this Engel or Edgefield, Edgefield um, jug. And I was a little confused by what he wrote here, but it says Edgefield Pottery paid 75 for this one. And he took 15 off of asking price. So um, $470, if my math is correct. And he said he bought about 13 of these jugs at one time. So he bought a ton of these jugs, not a ton, but you know, at a hundred bucks a pop that adds up this face jug. He paid a hundred. He took a best offer of 160 on that. These, uh, toy story toys. I think there's a new toy story out. So, but he got these at a yard sale. He paid 10 and he took $75 best offer for these. The next item are these hummingbird ornaments. And he got these at the Goodwill for eight bucks and he took a best offer of 75. And I think these are amazing. I would love to have these, um, but I think they'd probably be a little bit hard to ship. Okay, I'm not sure how to say this. Look, I'm not even going to try. This brand right here, I've heard of it before, but here's what it looks like. Somebody can school me in the comments on how to pronounce it. Paid $10 at a yard sale and took a best offer of $75 local pickup. I love this one. It's an Abercrombie and Fitch pig skin leather duck from the 60s. How cool is this? It's amazing. Uh, he got it at a thrift store for $3 and he took a best offer of 145. This Ed Redmond Edgefield, this is another piece of pottery. Um, he bought this on eBay for 30 and he sold it on eBay for 80. This giant caterpillar paid $2 at a yard sale. He said he's purchased three total. He has one listed now. And then this one sold for 80 plus shipping. And it is big. This is a, um, a tile. It's a rabbit scene tile. And this one he consigned for someone. He paid the guy that bought it for, um, paid $5 for it. And it sold for $76 with 14 bids. This is one tile. Super cool. The next item is this Hot Wheels Gumball 
Lamborghini. Okay, so what he said about this is it's a mail-in that you have to send in UPCs for from other Hot Wheels to get, and it costs about $25, and then they send you this, apparently. You can see it says Gumball 3000, and this sold for $120, and he sold two of them. The next item is this paintball stuff. Um, he said he went to a yard sale and the lady said, my son left this stuff behind, but he has been moved out for a year and I can't test it, so you can just have it free. <laughs> He's like, lady, don't twist my arm. Anyway, so he got this free and it sold for $150. So free is fantastic. And then here is Eddie's store. And as you can see, I was telling you that he seems to find these amazing paintings at thrift stores. And he just finds super cool stuff. So I'm just going to kind of scroll through some of his items. He's got some high-end stuff. I'm, I'm listing highest to lowest right now. So these are like his high-end high -end items. But yeah, I will post a link to his store down in the description of the video. So be sure to check that out. If you made it to the end of the video, please comment. I made it to the end of the video. Here's candlesticks. There's just two of them. And he's got $325 on them or best offer. Um, so yeah, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Check out Eddie's Facebook group and his YouTube channel, HodgePodge. Again, links will be in the description of this video. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my social media down below. I'm trying to hit uh, Twitter pretty hard. I'm new to Twitter, and I shouldn't say I'm new to Twitter, but I never really used my Twitter, and I'm trying to do more on Twitter. So definitely follow me, and I will try to follow you back. If I miss you, then just message me and tell me to follow you. That way I can tweet your stuff. And I am going to get off here because it is Wednesday. And my live show is at 10 o'clock. I go live every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you join in in the chat, you can bring your bolo and I will share that. And that will give you exposure for your eBay store and exposure for your YouTube channel. If you have a YouTube channel, it's kind of like a little shout out. It pops up as a banner. Um, I've got replays that you can check out if you want to see that. And then I also have other featured seller videos like this. If you would like to be featured, just join my Facebook group down below and you can send me a private message with a link to your store and I'll check that out and I'll look through your solds and see if we can get a video together. All right, guys, thanks for watching and have a great night.